we want to balance the following redox reaction in acidic solution. So again, acidic is the key word for this. So I've got this equation. So what am I going to do? Well, the first step is we are going to balance elements. Pretty straightforward, right? Well, there's always got to be a catch, right? It can't just be straightforward. So we're going to balance the elements. And if it's oxygen, we're going to add water. So if I'm balancing oxygen, I'm actually going to add H2O liquid. So when I do that, what do I know? Well, there are three oxygens on the left and there are two on the right. So that means I need to add a water on the right. So I'm going to get Cu solid plus NO3 minus aqueous yields Cu2 plus Aq plus NO2 gas. Now we said for every oxygen we are going to add water. So I'm going to add H2O liquid. So now what does that do? Well now we're going to have to balance the hydrogen that we just added. So step two is we're going to balance hydrogen with what? H plus. So we're going to balance hydrogen with H plus. So I added two hydrogens on the right. So that means on the left over here I've got to add two H plus aqueous. And then I need to copy down the rest of the equation. So now here's my reaction, but now what do I have to do? Well now I need to make sure that my charge is balanced on the left hand side with the right hand side. So if you look, I have the two plus from the H, but I've got a minus here, and then I've got a plus two. So my overall charge on the left is minus one, and I have a plus two. So how am I gonna do that? Well, I need to multiply by something, right? So what if we multiply the H by two? That would give me plus four, and if I multiply this by 2, that would be minus 2, and then I'd have plus 4 minus 2 is <gasps> plus 2. So let's try that. So I have get 4H plus. I didn't do anything to the Cu, so I'm going to rewrite it. We said we want to multiply this by 2. So I'm going to get over here. Again, I, we didn't do anything to the Cu, so we're just going to rewrite it. Now when I'm looking at this, I notice that when I put the 2 in front of this, now I have two nitrogens. So I notice here's a nitrogen, so I'm going to go ahead and put a 2 in front of that, because I think it's going to make me happy to do that. And now what happens with the water? Well, when I multiplied by 2, now I have 2 times 3, which is 6. And here's 4 of them, so I need to multiply the water by... 2, so 2H2O liquid. So this is the final balanced equation.